Hey, all my YouTube friends, how are you? It is time for a new video and a new project. This week's project is a cute little French provincial dresser for drawers from Sears. It has a sticker on the inside of the drawer and from what I can tell uh, based on our Googling, and I say our because it was Phil and I that did it, my husband, it was quite popular. And it's part of a set, a bedroom set. And it's just exciting to see that, and especially because in the 60s and 70s, I was a kid. So that's kind of fun. It is in pretty sorry shape. The sides are just pocked like chicken pox. It looks like this poor thing has the chicken pox. I'm going to heal it, paint it, turn it into something that is honorable to the French provincial style. So I'm going to use two different colors because I like to do that. This is Silky Blue by Melange. Knapsack Khaki There's the color. I think that I'm going to actually trim it out in the blue and use this as the color of the drawers and the sides and this for the top and the feet. Then I'm going to use Dixie Belle's gilding wax in gold to trim it out. I'm kind of excited about that because it'll be a tiny bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm ready. If you haven't subscribed yet, please press that red button. You'll be helping me out a ton. My goal is a thousand and on up from there. Follow me on Instagram. Get the link in the description box below along with all the materials I'm using this week. Stick around. All right, as usual, first thing up is to get the hardware off and all the junk out of the drawers. And one thing I forgot to do was clean. Oopsie. So I'm using my plastic Wood X. And there are a lot of repairs, a lot of scratches, and just, this is a melamine that I'm dealing with, so I had to be real careful. I had to sand it down, but I couldn't sand too much. And when I got to the sides, as you see when I'm sanding, it gets very dicey because <laughs> it looks like the poor thing, like I said in the beginning, has the chicken pox. And as you can see, there's a giant gouge on the one side. That took some doing to get rid of. After the plastic wood X dries, it turns white and then you can sand it. And it is pretty soft to sand. The problem is that when you're sanding, you have to be very careful. So I'm using a 220 on my orbital. I just kind of go back and forth from hand sanding to using my orbital sander, just kind of by feel. And eventually I get to the point where I can vacuum up all the dust. And you kind of have to do that as you go along because you don't want to breathe the plastic wood X when it's dry or when it's wet, I guess. But you'll see here the gouge. I had put some blast plastic wood X on it and I had to go back and do it a couple times. And then when I primed, after I did all the priming, I had more sanding to do. More and more and more. But eventually I did get to a point where it was nice and smooth. But you see, it takes patience, guys. It really does. And even after you prime it, sometimes that's when you can really see where the real problems are, which is kind of good. So priming is sort of a good thing. It just shows you a little bit clearer what all your problems are. There were a few places where the drawers go in that there were some pretty serious gouges. So I needed to use the plastic wood X. So I'm going back and sanding that all off and 
Once I got that done, you really couldn't see it again. Now I'm vacuuming again and sanding again. I kept changing the grit because it just wasn't working. And here, uh, I found some spots that I didn't notice until after I primed. So seriously, priming is a good thing. Now here, <laughs> I started to paint and realized, whoops, I forgot to sand that down again <laughs> and wipe it down. So you can even see that I've sanded so much that it's really dark, but you know, that's what you, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then the second time around, I let it dry longer because I think I should have let the primer dry even longer because it was very hot those days and it just wasn't drying as fast as it normally would. So make sure you let the primer dry enough so that when you're sanding it, it isn't coming off. Finally, I'm at the point where I can paint with my silky blue and my brand new zebra wedge brush. Man, this brush is cool. It just holds so much paint. It was really nice. I liked it a lot. Hey everyone, it's Thursday and I am in my dark garage. We don't have power. We haven't had power since Tuesday. I was gonna try and do a little bit of work today, kind of check in and uh, kind of let you know where I'm at. We've been cleaning up our yard, had a lot of branches that had fallen, but our neighbors are far worse than we are. We were pretty lucky, but um, a bunch of trees fell on our power lines in the backyard and we have yet to have power and probably will be a few days. It's been a little crazy, but I consider us extremely lucky compared to all of the people that have lost their homes in California and now Oregon. It's, it's so incredibly sad and my heart goes out to all of them. Um, this was nothing compared to that. Okay. Um, I have decided to use uh, one of my molds from Redesign with Prima. I created some roses. I thought maybe this would be a nice addition to my French Provincial, um, but I, I think it might be fun to add some flowers. And if this little storm hadn't happened, I may not have thought of that. I have painted what I'm kind of considering trim. It's not really trim, it's sort of dividing the drawers. I changed my plan a little bit. I'm going to make the bottom drawer the khaki color and then the top three drawers blue and see how that goes. If I don't like it, I'll change it. But the top is going to be blue as far as I know. I'm gonna sand this down a little bit, put a second coat on and see where we're at. All right, let's get to work. See how much we can get done. So you see me using my finishing pads, which are sanding pads. They're very fine, but they still have a teeny tiny little bit of grit to them. And they are just nice for just sanding it down so it's nice and soft and ready for a second coat and then again ready for a top coat when that comes along and here i am just painting once again with my wedge brush the top it's second coat Hey friends, it is Saturday and we finally got our power back on. So I'm back in the garage. I have two coats on the drawers. I do need to put another coat on the side and maybe touch up the drawers. I need to touch up this one too. It has two coats too. I also, you can't see, but here I was going to trim this out in blue because these are the khaki color. Of course, this is khaki, so I thought I'd do this one in blue. So I'm kind of toying with what I want to do with that. I've got the hardware. I ordered it online. It is very similar to the hardware that was on here. It wasn't very expensive. In fact, it was 
$13.99 for six. I have a couple of more things up my sleeve. Let's get to work. So towards the end of your project, you're gonna have some touch-ups and that's important. Um, sometimes that happens because the paint hasn't been allowed to dry long enough and you gotta move it around. Um, or it just needs another coat of paint. So you use your fin finishing pads again. And if you don't have finishing pads, I really recommend that you buy some. I will put the link for those in the description box below. I think that this is the second coat that I'm putting on here. And it really did come out nice. I was so thrilled. I was kind of worried with all those chicken pox it had. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get it nice and smooth, but I did. You know, you're always gonna have spots that you have to go back to, those oopsies or uh, whoops, I forgot a spot. It's just part of it. And sometimes you just have to walk away and then come back to it so you can see it. Here I'm using this lavender colored tape and it's really great for painted surfaces that you've just painted. So give it a shot, it's really nice. I like it a lot. This is the matte finish uh, top coat by Melange. And I'm moving the table out of the sun because you shouldn't be using it in the sun. And read the directions, it's very specific. And I'm gonna confess right now, I hate top coats, I really do. I am developing a serious phobia about top coats because I've had so many bad experiences and it's mostly just because I'm impatient or maybe I was trained as a fine artist and I can't not retouch things or go back and over it and over it. And you have to put down a top coat and leave it, whether it looks good or not, you just have to leave it and you can go back over it when it's dried, but I just don't like top coats. I am drilling my holes for the hardware, so we're getting towards the end. But you'll see here, I didn't even check the screws on the hardware. And now I've got a problem because I used the wrong size drill bit. So I had to switch to the right size and I measured it with the screw and just redo the holes. It's not a big deal, but I felt kind of dumb. <laughs> okay, so now I, it's weird. All of these drawers had tape marks and you know how tape marks are, they're just gooey. So I used Goo Gone and it worked. So, ta-da! <laughs> I am using Dixie Belle's Gilding Wax here in the color gold. I just wanted to add that little extra something because it's a, a French Provincial. Don't forget, I was going to use some roses and I decided to paint them colors I used on the dresser. And I just wanted to show this because it's so cool because it's on time-lapse. <laughs> if you want to watch the video about how to create your own uh, flowers and things from a mold, you can check out my video and I'll put the link in the description box below. So here is a time when you need to be patient as well. You need to take your time, lay it all out, rearrange, step back, walk away, look at it again, think about composition, balance, if you don't know what those things are, find a video that talks about that because it's important to think about design. You don't want your dresser to look off balanced. So take the time to do that right. So I'm now I've painted the flowers and now I'm laying them out again. I lay them out and I tried 
to set them in a place where I knew <laughs> that I could put them back on. I still kind of forgot, but it, it's okay because, you know, each time you do it, it kind of develops into something even better. And now I'm just touching up again because it happens. I'm using just wood glue here. It works perfectly. The only thing is, I don't know what happened. Halfway through, I must have been off in dreamland because the third drawer down, I put too much glue on there. I was tired of rubbing it around. <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'll just put it on. And then, and you can see, you can see right now, I'm trying to clean it off. You can see it oozing out. It's ridiculous. It's fine. I got, I, the Goo Gone worked for that as well. I pulled out the sprayer. I was not happy with that top coat. Dang that top coat. So I sprayed it on and I have to say it took me a couple of times, but I got it right. Oh, the hardware, yay. We are almost done. This hardware was a little difficult. Uh, the screws were not the right size for these drawers. So Phil, my husband, was very sweet to cut them for me because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I'm using the gilding wax again to just lightly brush my flowers. Um, I just wanted something. I thought they were pretty without, but I just wanted them to blend with the rest of the dresser and just made it look very, very classy. She is a classy girl. <laughs> well, friends, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really a fun one to do. It wasn't too big and I got to do some really fun stuff. I'm really glad that I added the roses and touched them up with a little bit of gold. I think it's exactly what this piece needed, a little something extra. I wasn't sure whether I was gonna put the roses on or not. I finished it without them and realized, no, nope, it needs a little something extra. So I'm glad that I decided to do that. If you want to purchase one of my pieces, you can go to my Etsy shop at Art Studio 320. Some of the pieces will be there. Some of them have been purchased. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Oh, I know how you hate the cold. Spend your life searching for more. Afraid to leave, afraid to show. Fight to leave, fight to leave.